we looked in a previous video at a solution for x to the 5 minus 3n well that should be x to the 5 minus 3x plus 1 equals 0 and we found it then what we did well we found a solution using the um, newton raphson method. We identified an interval where a root exists. And we found uh, we used a value close to the root. And then the newton raphson method cause the, our answer get to get closer and closer to the true root so the true root to see it we used a graph of the function f of x equals x to the 5 minus 3x plus 1 all right now let's zoom into the graph this was the root, as I remember. Right. And we got really, really close to this root. Now, here. Suppose we used some value that's further away from the root. And it's close to the minimum value. Now remember, at the minimum value, f of x is 0. So you would have an indefinite calculation there, an indefinite answer to your calculation, because you'll be trying to put f of n divided by 0. Well, f prime of n here. Based on the the main um, equation, the formula for newton raphson method, you would be saying f of n over zero, which wouldn't work. And what we want to do is use a value close to it. Ideally, we should use a value that is close to the real root, wherever it is. But let's use this value, 0 0.9. And then we see what happens when we use 0 0.9 as our first estimate. All right? So we say our x1 is equal to 0 0.9. Some persons might say x0, and that's where we start. All right? If you prefer to use x1, no problem. But, I mean, if you prefer to use x0, no problem. You would just start with x0, then you go to x1, x2, and so on. Alright? x1 is the first estimate that we have. Now, x1 plus 1. Remember, this is xn. n is 1. n plus 1 would be x2 is equal to our x1 0 0.9 minus our f of 0 0.9 would be 0 0.9 to the 5 minus 3 times 0 0.9 plus 1 divided by 5 times 0 0.9 to the 4th minus 3 let's use our calculator to see what that will give us calculator all right oh no what's going on just jump across like that all right let's try again calculator all right so we have our calculator here 0 0.9 to the 5. So 
so 0 0.9 raised to the power of 5 minus 3 times 0 0.9 minus 3 times 0 0.9 plus 1 plus 1 let's put this in bracket Alright, divided by 5 times 0 0.9 to the fourth, open bracket, 5 times 0 0.9 raised to the power of 4, minus 3, close bracket, but before that, we say 0 0.9 minus that, 0 0.9 minus all of this equal we get 4.855 so we have 4.855 let's look back at our graph now you see the reason why they say the estimate should be close. I mean, the, yeah, your estimate should be close to the real root. Or else Newton Rapson will get out of control. It's giving us a value, 4.8 something, all the way out here. Right? So it had swung out of control because we did not use a value that is close to the actual value. Now, suppose we used 1. If we use 1 to do the calculation, let's see what happens when we use 1. What happened to my calculator? Let's try again to get the calculator. All right. In this case, it would be 1 minus open bracket. <coughs> 0 0.9. Well, it's 1 to the fifth, which is just 1. Minus 3 by 1. So it's minus 3 plus 1. Plus 1 close bracket divided by open bracket 5 times 1 to the 4 which is just 5 minus 3 close bracket equal you get 1.5 <coughs> so when we use 1 we get 1.5 as the answer it was 1 minus 1 to the 5th minus 3 by 1 plus 1 over 5 by 1 to the 4th minus 3 now we got 1.5 let's look at the graph did it take us any closer we use 1 went out to 1.5 so this was not very near to the root and it went all the way out to 1.5 now if we use 1.5 as our x3 x3 equal 1.5 minus 1.5 to the fifth minus 3 times 1.5 plus 1 over 5 times 1.5 to the fourth minus 3 equal. Alright, let's get back to our calculator and see what happens. Calculator. So, 
1.5 minus open bracket 1.5 to the fifth minus 3 by 1.5 so it's 1.5 to the power of 5 minus 3 times 1.5 plus 1.5 oh 3 by 1.5 plus what did we have yeah plus 1 so, oh, the calculator went away. Plus 1, close bracket, divided by open bracket. It was 5 times 1.5 to the 4th now. 5 by 1.5 to the 4th. 5 times 1.5 raised to the power of 4. Minus 3. Minus 3. Close bracket. Equal. 1.316. Or 17. 1.317. So, our answer here is 1.317. It seemed to be taking us back towards the root, right? Seem to be taking us back towards the root. So when we use one, it was close enough. But anyway, what we want to do is use 0 0.4. There is a root somewhere here. Based on the graph, when I zoom in, I estimate that that root is between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. It's a little more than 0 0.33. But let's use 0 0.4 and see what happens. So, we want to find that other root. Our x1 is 0 0.4. Let's see where it takes us. x1 equals 0 0.4. Now, our x2 is equal to 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 to the fifth power minus 3 times 0 0.4 plus 1 divided by 5 by 0 0.4 to the 4 minus 3. 5 times 0 0.4 to the 4 minus 3. So, let's get to our calculator. Let's get a different calculator. So, we have 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 minus open bracket 0 0.4 to the fifth 0 0.4 to the power of 5 minus 3 times 0 0.4 minus 3 times 0 0.4 plus 1 close bracket over open bracket 5 times 0 0.4 to the 4 5 times 0 0.4 to the power of 4 minus 3 minus 3 close bracket equal 0 0.33 0 0.334 so it's 0 0.334 so you see, we were all the way out here, right, right here. But when we applied the newton Robson, it got us much closer to the true root, alright, which is quite nice.
Okay, so it's closer to the root. Now, of course, I want you to practice doing this until you're very much accustomed to the Newton Rapson method. All right. So that was another example of using the Newton Rapson method to find the roots of equations. And those include equations where you don't have any straightforward way of solving, like how you can solve quadratic equations. Alright, so that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.